Hey guys, I'm Arsene from Trailing Kale, and today I'm reviewing the Hoka Tecton X2. It's these guys. So, they've just been released. If you're not familiar with the Tecton line, it's basically Hoka's carbon plate trail running shoes. So it's their top of the line, premium, most expensive trail running shoes, and also the fastest. So if you are familiar with the Tecton series, the X1, which is the version that came before this one, the main differences between that one and the X2 are that the X2 is lighter and it has obviously this new mesh here, which is called the Matrix uh, mesh, which is lightweight and very breathable. So that's really the main difference. Um, it is using the Profly X midsole, which means the top section of a midsole is softer than the bottom section. So there's two different types of foams. Top one is softer, so it feels nice and soft when you're running. Um, and the bottom one is more firm, which means you get more response and propulsion as you're running. And added to that, with the carbon plate running through the midsole, you can't actually see it on the bottom of these shoes. Um, there is a carbon plate in there, and that is insane so far. Um, it's really quite fun running on the trails with a carbon plate. Uh, you just feel like you're bouncing and flying much faster than you normally would. Uh, so it's a lot of fun, but you do have to be careful because you've got to scan the ground much faster than usual. Most of my running on this 10k loop today so far has been uphill, so I've been able to test the climbing ability of the Tecton X2. Uh, so far, really good. The rubber outsole, the lugs here, uh, the light base and Vibram outsole, um, has tons of grip, digs into the trails. Um, right now I'm on a fire road, it's got lots of loose debris, as you can see. So I do run down some of this on my way back. Um, so it'll be good to see what the traction like is on scree and loose rocks like that with the Tecton X2 as well. Man, these trail shoes are awesome. I'm not a big believer in keeping people waiting, keeping them in suspense with my thoughts. So just going to go out and say it. I think these are my favorite trail running so far. Um, if you do follow Trail and Kill, you'll know that I've been a big fan of the Hoka Mafat Speed 4. Uh, there's another trail running shoe from Hoka. That is an exceptional shoe, but it's a lot less expensive. I say a lot less. The Tecton X2 is over $200, which, as I said, Hoka's most premium trail running shoe. But the Mafat Speed 4 is, I think it's $180 at the moment. So that's an exceptional shoe as well, if you want to kind of step into the premium Hoka trail running shoes. Go with that one first, maybe. But wow, these shoes are awesome. They're fast. They're a lot of fun. They're super lightweight. And that carbon plate gives me so much propulsion, uh, even uphill. So I can't wait till this climb levels out. Um, it's about a 300 meter climb. I am British, yes, but I live out in California, in this beautiful place in Northern California which is just outside San Francisco. Um, so if I'm using meters or kilometers or ounces, pounds, I get mixed up all the time because <laughs> I don't know where I'm from really. But anyway, the point is loving these shoes so far. Okay, before it gets too windy at the top, I just want to quickly talk about sizing and fit. The Hoka Tecton X2 fits true to size. So if you've got medium width feet, uh, you should be fine in these. I'd say there's a little bit more room actually than medium. So if you've got slightly wider feet, uh, they'll be okay for you too as well. The locking system with the tongue, it's a gusseted tongue, so it wraps around your foot here. Um, lacing system uh, is really nice locks your foot in place very well. There's a little loophole here on the tongue as well, which means you can put your laces through there and 
keep your tongue in place whilst you're running. It's pretty essential. One thing I find with Hoka is that the fit is just really nice out of the box every time. Um, that's the reason they quickly became my favourite line of running shoes. Uh, and they still are right now, and that includes road running and trail running. So definitely go to trailonkale.com if you're interested in Hoka. And interested to hear my thoughts on some of the road running shoes as well as the other trail running shoes. Definitely head over there, put a link up there now. You can go check them out. Tectonics 2 is so fast on downhills. So much fun. The grip is awesome on these trail running shoes on a downhill. Uh, classic Hoka really, they just grip to the trail really nicely. And that Profly X midsole, just love it, just love it. As I said earlier, it makes running feel really cushioned but responsive. Because of the split midsole, you've got the soft one on the top and then a slightly firmer uh, foam on the bottom and it just has this awesome combination that puts a smile on my face. They just have a habit of feeling like a road running shoe in terms of how lightweight, cushioned and responsive they are, but they've got perfect, you know, near perfect grip. They just really dig into the trails and they're a lot of fun. And it's where I'm happiest on the trails. So I need a really good pair of shoes or trail running shoes that allow me just to do me on the tra trails and just run how I want to run. And for me right now, that's the Tecton X2. Wow. Well, that's it from me, from the trails, and my Hoka Tecton X2 review. Hope you enjoyed watching it, getting some insights into the trails I like to run, and you know what they're actually like on the trail. Uh, if you want more information, more specs, and more insights on the Tecton X2, head over here uh, to my in-depth review on Trail and Kale, where there's more photos, more insights, and just more information, so definitely go check that out before you click the buy button on these shoes. Um, just so you get a full picture and uh, get more of my thoughts on them. All right, say hello in the comments down below if you've got any questions or you, if you just want to say hi. See you next time. Bye.